Welcome to CEC live lectures. In the previous lecture, we discussed about a uh, brief history of alkaloids, how they are defined, what is the distribution of the alkaloids, what are the uh, classification we started in the previous lecture, then we also discussed about the properties of alkaloids and uh, we just started the classification of the alkaloids and in that we discussed the Hagnoir's classification. Uh, according to which the alkaloids uh, are classified into three major categories that is uh, true alkaloids, uh, uh, proto alkaloids and pseudo alkaloids. So, true alkaloids over the alkaloids which are derived from amino acids and have nitrogen atom in their heterocyclic ring. Uh, proto alkaloids uh, are the alkaloids that are derived from amino acid but do not have uh, nitrogen atom in their heterocyclic ring and nitrogen atom is present outside the ring in the side chain. And the third was uh, pseudo alkaloids and these were the alkaloids that are not derived from amino acids, but they had nitrogen atom in their heterocyclic ring. So, this was the first uh, method of classification. Now, coming on to the second method of classification that is on the basis of presence or absence of nitrogen atom in the ring. Alkaloids on this basis are broadly categorized into two categories. First is atypical. Uh, alkaloids which are also known as proto alkaloids or non heterocyclic alkaloids and the second category is of typical or heterocyclic alkaloid. Now, again uh, atypical or the proto alkaloids are uh, the same as that of uh, proto alkaloids which we discussed in the Hagnoir's classification and uh, these are the alkaloids which are have which are derived from amino acids and have nit uh, and do not have nitrogen atom in their heterocyclic ring. Now, proto alkaloids are further of two major types that is phenyl ethyl amine alkaloids and tropolone alkaloids. Now, phenyl ethyl amine alkaloids are those alkaloids which are having a ethyl amine chain attached to the phenyl ring as you can see in the structure of ephedrine, the first structure. Uh, ephedrine is basically obtained from different species of ephedra and mainly ephedra sinica. And as you can see in the structure, there is an ethyl amine chain that is attached to the phenyl ring and therefore, these alkaloids are known as phenyl ethyl amine alkaloids. The second class uh, that is tropolone alkaloids, they have a seven membered tropolone ring as you can see this, uh, in the structure of colchicine which is an example of uh, this class of alkaloids and uh, colchicine is obtained from the corms of uh, colchicum autumnale and is largely used for its anti-gout properties and you can see uh, in the picture the corms of colchicum and uh, beautiful plant of uh, colchicum with beautiful uh, purple flowers. So, these are the two major classes of proto alkaloids. Now, move on to the typical alkaloids and uh, these typical alkaloids are the alkaloids which are having nitrogen atom in their heterocyclic ring irrespective whether the uh, amino uh, whether the alkaloid has been derived from amino acid or not. So, largely uh, we can say that uh, typical alkaloids have nitrogen atom in their heterocyclic ring and majority of uh, these alkaloids are derived from amino acids except uh, uh, the purine alkaloids which are not derived from amino acids. So, since this classification is based on the presence or absence of uh, nitrogen atom in the heterocyclic ring, so purine alkaloids uh, come under the typical alkaloids. Now, these typical alkaloids are further classified on the basis of type of the heterocyclic ring that is present in their structure and uh, you can see there are numerous types of uh, the heterocyclic ring that, that occur in alkaloid and on the basis of the type of the ring, uh, these alkaloids are categorized as uh, pyrrolidine alkaloid, uh, pyrrolizidine alkaloids, pyridine, piperidine, tropane alkaloids, quinazolin alkaloids, indole alkaloids, purine alkaloids. Uh, then steroidal alkaloids and uh, terpenoidal alkaloids. So, now we will discuss the each and every class in detail. So, first coming on to the pyrrolidine alkaloids and uh, these are the alkaloids which have pyrrolidine ring in their structure and uh, these are mainly derived from ornithine. The uh, amino acid is ornithine from which these alkaloids are derived and the common examples that belong to pyrrolidine alkaloids are hygrin and cascohygrin which are uh, obtained from the seeds of uh, coca that is erythroxylum coca and you can clearly see in the structure the presence of pyrrolidine ring in their structures. The next class is uh, pyrrolizidine alkaloids 
and uh, these are the alkaloids which have pyrrolizidine ring in their structure and uh, these are biosynthesized again from uh, the amino acid ornithine and more than 600 pyrrolizidine alkaloids have been isolated and most of these alkaloids are found in the uh, uh, flowering plants and according to uh, an estimate uh, 3 percent of the flowering plants across the uh, planet they, they contain pyrrolizidine alkaloid. And uh, these alkaloids are highly toxic and there are numerous reports regarding uh, the toxic effects of uh, uh, these alkaloids whenever a plant uh, containing these alkaloids is being consumed by, by animals or by man uh, accidentally. And the major toxic effect of these alkaloids is uh, hepatotoxicity and apart from uh, that uh, if they are consumed in higher doses they may even lead to the death of the person who is consuming them. But for plants they act as uh, defensive chemicals because they, they protect the plant uh, from the herbivorous animals by, by preventing those animals from eating the, that particular plant. And the common example is uh, sentionine which is obtained uh, from the species of uh, sentio genus and uh, this, this is basically uh, these are the toxic alkaloids and complex alkaloids as you can see uh, in the structure of sentionine. So the next class is uh, pyridine alkaloids and uh, these alkaloids contain pyridine ring in their structure and uh, these are derived from the amino acid phenylalanine and again these are highly toxic and the examples are nicotine and anabasin and we know that nicotine and anabasin these are the alkaloids that are obtained from uh, uh, nicotiana tobaccum and another example is aerocholin which is obtained from uh, uh, the nuts of Erica catechu. Now, as you can see in the structure of nicotine and anabasin, they have pyrrolidine ring and piperidine ring along with the pyridine uh, ring in their structure. So, sometimes nicotine is con also considered under uh, pyrrolidine alkaloids and anabasin is sometimes also considered under piperidine alkaloid. But for our convenience, I, I am considering nicotine and anabasin under pyridine alkaloids. Now, aerocholin is uh, considered as a, uh, as a tetrahydropyridine derivative because you can clearly see in the structure of aerocholin that uh, uh, the, uh, the two double bonds, uh, they, they, they get saturated and only one double bond is left in, in the structure of aerocholin. Therefore, it is also known as tetrahydropyridine derivative. Uh, the next class uh, we have is uh, piperidine alkaloids and uh, piperidine ring is nothing uh, but the saturated form of uh, py pyridine, uh, pyridine ring. You, here you can see the structure of pyridine uh, nucleus and uh, this, is the, this is the structure of piperidine nucleus. It is the saturated form of the uh, uh, pyridine ring. Now, these are the those alkaloids which are having piperidine ring in their structure and uh, as I told you, it is a saturated form of pyridine ring. Again, these alkaloids are toxic, but some of the alkaloids are very helpful for the mankind and uh, these alkaloids are derived from uh, amino acid lysine and uh, common examples are piperin and conine. Now, piperin is an alkaloid which is uh, useful for mankind, whereas uh, conine is a uh, uh, extreme opposite of that of piperin and is highly toxic for the mankind. Now, piperin is uh, obtained from piper nigrum which we commonly known as Kali Mirch and uh, piperin is uh, normally used as a spice or a rubefacient agent but piperin has uh, also been uh, evolved as a very good bioavailability enhancing agent. So, basically piperin enhances the bioavailability or the absorption of various drugs which are having poor bioavailability or poor absorption uh, and this increase in bioavailability is largely uh, due to inhibition of certain uh, drug transporter proteins that are present in the membranes and it also sometimes prevents the metabolism of uh, particular drugs thereby uh, increasing uh, the availability of the drug for absorption and once it increases the absorption the obviously the dose required for a particular action decreases and hence it also decreases the side effects that are associated with that particular drug. So, piperin is uh, useful for mankind whereas, conine uh, as we discussed in our previous lecture the death of Socrates and it is highly toxic uh, alkaloid which mainly uh, causes paralysis of nerves and even paralysis of your respiratory system thereby leading to the death of, to, of the consumer of this alkaloid. 
Uh, next we have imidazole alkaloids and these are the alkaloids which have imidazole ring in their structure and uh, this the group of imidazole alkaloids is uh, considered as the smallest group of alkaloids and uh, these are basically derived from amino acid uh, histidine and uh, the most common example of uh, this class of alkaloid is uh, pilocarpine uh, which is uh, obtained from the leaves of pilocarpus jaborandi. Now, pilocarpine is largely used for ophthalmic purposes and uh, we can find pilocarpine eye drops in the market and uh, in ophthalmics it is largely used to reduce the ocular pressure that is uh, during the glaucoma uh, and uh, pilocarpine is also available in the form of uh, uh, pilocarpine hydrochloride tablets uh, which is largely used to overcome the conditions of dry mouth in the patients who are undergoing cancer therapy. So, the next class of uh, uh, alkaloid is an important uh, class that is tropane alkaloids and uh, again the alkaloids which are having tropane nucleus in their structure they belong to this category and uh, tropane nucleus or the alkaloids are the bicyclic compounds that are obtained after fusion of pyrrolidine and piperidine ring. So, as you can see in this reaction piperidine ring uh, gets fused with pyrrolidine ring to give the tropane nucleus which is the basic uh, heterocyclic ring in these alkaloids. And the most uh, common examples of uh, these alkaloids are atropine, hyoscyamine and uh, hyoscine and we all know that these alkaloids uh, we can obtain from uh, different solanaceous plants such as atropa belladonna, hyoscyamus niger or the tura stramonium. Now these tropane alkaloids are largely derived from uh, ornithine amino acid and uh, they are mainly found in the members of uh, Solanaceae family and Erythroxylaceae. Now the alkaloid hyoscine which is also known as all these three alkaloids that is atropine, hyoscyamine and hyoscine they have a strong anticholinergic action and uh, specifically the alkaloid hyoscine which is also known as uh, scopolamine. Uh, this uh, alkaloid uh, uh, causes a temporary loss of memory that is temporary amnesia. Uh, by blocking the nicotinic and muscarinic receptors and showing its anticholinergic action. Uh, since uh, acetylcholine we all know that it is an impo important neurotransmitter for the memory functions in the brain. So, by blocking the nicotinic and muscarinic receptors it prevents the binding of acetylene, uh, acetylcholine to these receptors and prevent uh, acetylcholine to show its uh, memory functions. And that is why because it causes temporary amnesia scopolamine is largely used as an uh, chemical model to evaluate various drugs that are uh, being tested for their memory enhancing activity. So, the next class uh, we have is of quinoline alkaloids and uh, these are the alkaloids which have quinoline nucleus in their structure and uh, these alkaloids are largely categorized into two uh, subclasses that is uh, alkaloids uh, which are anthranilic acid derivatives and alkaloids that are derived from the amino acid tryptophan. And uh, uh, the tryptophan derivatives or the alkaloids that are derived from tryptophan form the major class uh, subclass under the quinoline alkaloids. And uh, since it is believed that uh, these quinoline alkaloids are derived also derived from the modification of uh, uh, terpenoid indole nucleus therefore, these are sometimes also known as uh, terpenoidal uh, indole alkaloids. As you can see in, in this picture the, that uh, indole alkaloid structure is there and how the side chain gets uh, rearranged and uh, they give rise to quinoline alkaloid. And the common examples of uh, quinoline alkaloids are quinine, quinidine uh, and their isomers uh, uh, synconine and synconidine sorry quinine uh, and its isomer quinidine and synconine and its isomer synconidine. And we have discussed that these uh, alkaloids are present in the bark of various synchona species and uh, quinine is largely used for its anti-malarial action whereas quinidine is uh, used for its anti-arrhythmic effects. So, the next class is of uh, uh, isoquinoline alkaloids and uh, these are the alkaloids uh, which have isoquinoline nucleus in their structure and if you go, if we go back to the uh, basic nucleus of quinoline alkaloids then, uh, then uh, just have a look at the position of the nitrogen atom in this heterocyclic ring. It is uh, uh, down to the para position and uh, when we move on to the isoquinoline uh, uh, structure it, it goes to the 
metabolism. So we can uh, consider isoquinoline alkaloids as uh, uh, isomers of the quinoline alkaloids. And uh, isoquinoline alkaloids, they basically form one of the largest group of alkaloids as uh, more than 2500 isoquinoline alkaloids have been uh, identified and isolated from the nature. Now, these alkaloids are derived from the amino acid L-tyrosine and uh, these are distributed uh, amongst uh, various uh, dicotyledonous families such as uh, Pepeveraceae, Berberidaceae, uh, Menispermaceae, Fumariaceae and Renanclaceae. Now, these uh, isoquinoline alkaloids uh, depending upon uh, the structure, they are further divided into four categories. Uh, these are benzyl isoquinolines, then uh, we have uh, aporphines or which are also known as tetrahydroisoquinolines, then bisbenzyl isoquinoline alkaloids and the fourth uh, major category is of, uh, of isoquinoline alkaloid is benzophenanthridine alkaloids. Uh, so, these are the four major uh, subclasses that fall under the isoquinoline alkaloids. Now, coming on to the first subclass that is uh, benzyl isoquinoline alkaloid and uh, the most common examples of uh, uh, this type of alkaloids are morphine, codeine, uh, thebane and pepeverine and we know that these are obtained from uh, uh, the poppy plant that is pepever somniferum and other species of uh, pepever and as you can see in, in the structure that pepeverine ha is having a simple benzyl isoquinoline uh, nucleus. Uh, to which two methoxy groups are attached and uh, whereas morphine is having a complex uh, benzyl isoquinoline uh, structure and uh, from here we can clearly get an idea how the, uh, this, uh, the, uh, uh, the alkaloids can have uh, a complex structure under the similar kind of uh, similar class of alkaloids. So, th this indicates the complexity of uh, uh, and the variation uh, in their structure though the, the, the two alkaloids belong to the same subclass. Then the second subclass is uh, aporphines uh, or aporphine alkaloids or tetrahydroisoquinoline alkaloids and uh, as you can see in the basic nucleus of aporphine alkaloids the, the heterocyclic ring gets saturated and there are no double bonds in, in the heterocyclic ring and that is why they are also known as tetrahydroisoquinoline alkaloids. Now, these are the uh, alkaloids which form a small group under uh, the uh, isoquinoline uh, alkaloid category in comparison to obviously benzyl isoquinolines and uh, around 60 alkaloids, uh, aporphine, uh, sorry, 90 aporphine alkaloids have been identified or isolated from the nature. And the common example of uh, aporphine alkaloid is uh, boldin and uh, it has been isolated from the Pemus boldus. Uh, Monimiaceae belonging to Monimiaceae family and here you can clearly see the, uh, uh, the structure of Boldin having the uh, aporphine nucleus. The third uh, subclass is uh, uh, bisbenzyl isoquinoline alkaloid and uh, these alkaloids are nothing but the dimers of uh, uh, tetrahydrobenzyl isoquinoline nucleus that is uh, two individual uh, uh, tetrahydrobenzyl isoquinoline nucleus joined together uh, to form a dimer and uh, which 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 uh, which comes under this bis benzyl bis means two benzyl isoquinoline alkaloid and uh, these alkaloids or the two monomer units or the single units they are attached to each other through two or more ether linkages and around uh, 300 alkaloids belonging to this uh, subclass have been identified and isolated from the nature and the most common example is uh, tubocurarin uh, which is a very strong muscle relaxant and uh, has been used as an uh, arrow poison in, in the past and if we look into the structure of uh, 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 tubocurarin the dotted line clearly shows uh, uh, the point where the two uh, single units are attached to the uh, to each other through the ether linkage. So, we can say that tubocurarin alkaloid is, is a, a dimer which is joined together uh, uh, through the two ether linkages and the dotted line clearly represents the two ether linkages from uh, where the two monomers are joined together. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव बेंजोफेनैंथ्रीडीन न्यूक्लियस और बेंजोफेनैंथ्रीडीन एल्कोलॉइड्स एंड दीज आर द एल्कोलॉइड्स बेसिकली विच आर हैविंग द द फेनैंथ्रीन न्यूक्लियस अटैच टू द बेंजीन रिंग और द आइसोकिनोलिन रिंग एंड दीज एल्कोलॉइड्स आर लार्जली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द मेंबर्स ऑफ पेपेबेरेसी एंड रूटेसी फैमिलीज एंड इन पेपेबेरेसी दे बिलोंग टू द मेंबर्स Uh, of the genus uh, Chelidonium, Glossium, and Corydalis, whereas in Rutaceae they mainly occur in the members of Xanthoxylum. Uh, more than hundred uh, benzophenanthridine and alkaloids have been identified uh, in the nature, and uh, depending upon their structure, these benzophenanthridine and alkaloids are further categorized into three. sub sub classes but uh, explaining all these uh, sub sub classes will be beyond the scope of this lecture so uh, we can stick only that these are further subdivided into sub classes uh, three sub classes depending upon uh, the variation in their structures and uh, the most common example of uh, this class of alkaloid is uh, sanguinarin uh, which is obtained from chelidonium majus now sanguinarin is largely known for its anti microbial uh, microbial action and it is believed that it is being used in in certain products that are meant for oral hygiene either in toothpaste or in uh, mouthwashes uh, so friends uh, this was uh, about uh, uh, the half classification of uh, the alkaloids that was based upon uh, the heterocyclic ring and uh, in in the next part of this lecture i'll be continuing with the uh, other classes of uh, the alkaloids that that are uh, Uh, divided on the basis of the heterocyclic ring